Hey everyone, Wayne Thompson here. I just wanted to go through a quick Photoshop tutorial showing you guys how to composite a moon from one photo onto another. Um, this is a very quick and painless way to do it, so let's jump right in. Alright, so this is a picture I took of my friends just after sundown. As you can see, it's pretty underexposed, but this helps for our moon composite effect. So I'm going to go over and open up another uh, picture I shot earlier with a zoom lens of the moon itself. And here we go. I'm going to just drag this out a little bit and I'm going to copy my moon layer to my uh, sundown layer. And then right now it's covering up the whole thing. So I'm going to hit Control T on the keyboard to resize it. And as you can see, you can click and drag the corners. I'm holding Shift so it keeps the proportions the same as I click and drag. So I'm going to actually keep it a little bigger just so I can see the moon nicely. I'll leave it centered here. I'm going to hit enter to commit my uh, resizing. Give it a sec to load. And then I'm going to zoom in and you can use control or command plus to zoom in on the keyboard. So here's my moon. And What I want to do is I want to be able to cut this out of this background here so I can apply it to my new layer. So I'm going to come up here to the uh, elliptical marquee tool. I'm going to select it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift and then click and drag to get like a nice even circle here and since I'm starting just outside the moon I'm going to try to estimate where um, where the cutoff is try to get around the, the exact size of the moon now this might take a few attempts and in order to deselect our selection here if you've messed up you can just hit control or command D and that just deselects your uh, selection so I'll try it again holding shift as I click and drag and this probably is pretty close to where I need it so then I'm going to just uh, click and drag it over try to center it as best I can yeah, right about there maybe I'm gonna zoom back out and zooming out on the keyboard is control or command minus and then since I still have my marquee tool selected up here I'm going to right click inside of my selection I'm gonna layer via copy so this effectively creates a new layer of just our moon selection so zooming out I'm going to deselect the, the original moon layer here and as you can see we just have our moon so now I'm gonna select our moon layer hit control or command T on the keyboard to resize once more I'm just gonna click and drag it up to a position where I like it the most and a very important thing to note here is where the light source is coming from it's always really important to know that with photography um, since the moon is getting light from the right here as you can see and the light in our photo is coming from down here in the center I'm going to click at the corner as you can see our arrow has like a little 90 degree angle and this enables you to rotate it by just clicking just outside of uh, the square here and I'm going to try to line up the light source with our the actual light that's hitting the moon here and this looks alright now I, I know it's perf it's not perfect it's a little like cheating but it gives it a nice lighting effect in the photo so I'm going to hit enter to commit the changes and now we're starting to get something here it's a decent composite I mean, it looks kind of like somebody just slapped a sticker of the moon on top of the picture, but so we're going to try to adjust that with the next move. So having our moon layer selected, we're going to go to our blend mode here. Right now it's at normal, and I want to change the blend mode to lighten. And as you can see, whoops, I'm scrolling through the options here. But lighten is generally the best one for the moon if you're compositing it over another image with color or different lighting scheme, something with a gradient like the one in the background of this image. So now I can just drag it all over the photo and you'll see it kind of matches up, still blends in perfectly. There's no background of the moon here. And as you can see, you can even get it towards a little towards the more <laughs> of the light, and it kind of adapts that lighting and color scheme. But I liked it where it was, just kind of up here in the center. I'm going to hit Enter to commit it. And there we have our moon composite. Now you can do this with a variety of images. And I actually just wanted to give you guys another little taste of uh, something else you could do with this effect. I'm going to turn this uh, layer off here. I'm going to go back to my moon picture. I actually had stored another layer of the Death Star in here. <laughs> so I'm going to, once again, just click and drag this one into our, our uh, sunset image. I'm going to select our Death Star layer here. And I'm just going to change it to the light and blend mode. And as you can see, it's in there. The lighting is not perfect. I mean, it, it may be better depending on the... the uh, image you're using you can rotate it so it matches the lighting source but it still produces a nice effect in my opinion 
So that is how you composite the moon into another photo you've taken. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you found this tutorial useful. And uh, most importantly, leave your comments in the section below. I'd love to get your feedback or any potential tutorials you'd like me to go over in the future. If you'd like to see some samples of my work, you can find me on Instagram at WayneRyan21. And as always, stay positive, keep creating, and I'll see you guys in the next video.